Methyl sulfonylmethane, Wikipedia article audio. Methyl sulfonylmethane is an organosulfur compound with the formula 2SO2. It is also known by several other names including DMSO2, methyl sulfone, and dimethyl sulfone. This colorless solid features the sulfonyl functional group and is considered relatively inert chemically. It occurs naturally in some primitive plants, is present in small amounts in many foods and beverages, and is marketed as a dietary supplement. It is sometimes used as a cutting agent for illicitly manufactured methamphetamine. It is also commonly found in the atmosphere above marine areas, where it is used as a carbon source by the airborne bacteria of Apia, and is found distinctively in human melanoma cells. Structure and Chemical Properties Use as a Solvent Pharmacology and Toxicity Medical and Dietary Use FDA Action Evidence from Clinical Trials Safety Osteoarthritis Oxidative Stress and Inflammation Other Conditions Notes MSM and the corresponding sulfoxide, dimethyl sulfoxide 2SO, or DMSO, have different physical properties. MSM is a white crystalline solid at room temperature whereas DMSO is typically a liquid. The sulfoxide is a highly polar aprotic solvent and is miscible with water, it is also an excellent ligand. MSM is less reactive than DMSO because the S atom of the sulfone is already in its highest oxidation state. Indeed, oxidation of the sulfoxide produces the sulfone, both under laboratory conditions and metabolically. Because of its polarity and thermal stability, MSM is used industrially as a high temperature solvent for both inorganic and organic substances. It is used as a medium in organic synthesis. For example, displacement of aryl chlorides by potassium fluoride can be usefully conducted in molten MSM. With a pKa of 31, it can be deprotonated with sodium amide, and the conjugate base is an effective nucleophile. The LD50 of MSM is greater than 17.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. In rats, no adverse events were observed after daily doses of 2 grams MSM per kg of body weight. In a 90-day follow-up study, rats received daily MSM doses of 1.5 g/kg and no changes were observed in terms of symptoms, blood chemistry, or gross pathology. Nuclear magnetic resonance studies have demonstrated that oral doses of MSM are absorbed into the blood and cross the blood-slash-brain barrier. An NMR study has also found detectable levels of MSM normally present in the blood and cerebrospinal fluid, suggesting that it derives from dietary sources intestinal bacterial metabolism, and the body's endogenous methane thiol metabolism. Published clinical trials of MSM did not report any serious side effects, but there are no peer-reviewed data on the effects of its long-term use in humans. Although no medical uses for MSM have been approved by any government, a variety of health benefits have been claimed and studied. Stanley W. Jacob reported having administered MSM to over 18,000 patients with a variety of ailments, he co-authored a book promoting MSM with a variety of claims, including a utility as a natural source of biologically active sulfur, suggesting that people are deficient in such forms of sulfur in their dietary intake. There is no dietary reference intake or daily value established for sulfur and sufficient dietary sources are readily available in onions, garlic, and cruciferous vegetables and in protein-containing foods, including nuts, 
seeds, milk and eggs. The claims for the need for sulfur supplementation originate with Robert Herschler, a biochemist who patented dietary and pharmaceutical uses of methyl sulfonylmethane and compositions comprising it in 1982. He claimed that MSM was useful in stress, mucous membrane inflammation, allergies, and gastrointestinal conditions. Moreover, in cases involving topical therapeutics, the role of MSM as an active agent, per SC, versus its having a role in promoting skin permeation must be characterized slash controlled. The biochemical effects of supplemental methyl sulfonylmethane are poorly understood. Some researchers have suggested that MSM has anti-inflammatory effects. The spectrum of biological effects of dimethyl sulfoxide and MSM differ, but those of DMSO may be mediated, at least in part, by MSM. In July 2007 a manufacturer of MSM submitted a notification to the US FDA claiming generally recognized as safe status. Grass status is for safety, and has no evaluation of efficacy. The FDA responded in February 2008 with a letter of non-objection, functionally designating OptiMSM, the branded form of MSM, as grass. The designation allows MSM to be added to meal supplement and meal replacement foods, fruit smoothie type drinks, fruit flavored thirst quencher type beverages, and food bars such as granola bars and energy type bars. Small scale studies of possible treatments with MSM have been conducted on both animals and humans. These studies of MSM have suggested some benefits particularly for treatment of oxidative stress and osteoarthritis, but evidence for other uses is lacking. Natural Medicine's comprehensive database contains a continually updated list of health-related MSM studies. Extensive research in animal models indicates MSM has a very low toxicity when administered both orally and topically. In clinical trials, Several studies reported minimal or absence of side effects after 12 weeks of dosing. Reported side effects from these studies included mild gastrointestinal issues, fatigue, and headache, although they did not appear to differ from placebo. A more recent 26-week study on large joint osteoarthritis observed no adverse events or abnormal changes in lab monitoring when taking 6 grams MSM per day. MSM is considered possibly safe at therapeutic doses, although further research is still needed to assess its safety for long-term use. A review of two small randomized controlled trials of methyl sulfonylmethane in osteoarthritis knee pain relief reported significant improvement in pain outcomes in the treatment group compared to comparator treatments, however, methodological issues and concerns over optimal dosage and treatment period were highlighted. The two trials included 168 people, of whom 52 received MSM either 1.5 g-day or 6.0 g-day. The review authors stated, no definitive conclusion can currently be drawn and there is no definitive evidence that MSM is superior to placebo in the treatment of mild to moderate osteoarthritis of the knee. Subsequent to the 2008 review there have been two more clinical trials. Multiple human and animal trials indicate MSM may reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. In one small human trial, MSM has been shown to protect muscles from damage by reducing the amount of oxidative stress damage incurred through exercise. In a second small trial the total antioxidant capacity was significantly increased after taking MSM. Studies in animals indicate a hepatoprotective effect of MSM against several toxins including acetaminophen, paraquat, and carbon tetrachloride. 
Animal models of experimental colitis and pulmonary hypertension indicate a protective effect as well. Barrager evaluated the efficacy of MSM for hay fever. 55 subjects consumed 2.6 grams of MSM per day for 30 days. This study was not blinded and did not include controls, while an improvement in symptoms was observed compared to initial baseline, no significant changes were observed in two indicators of inflammation. A double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial of an MSM-containing throat spray to reduce snoring reported a severity decrease of 28% in the placebo group and 54% for the treated group. The difference was statistically significant. One was a double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled trial with 49 participants taking 1.125 grams of MSM or placebo three times daily for 12 weeks. The results showed a significant decrease in WOMOC physical function and total WOMOC scores, as well as improvement in VAS pain scores. The effect size of MSM supplementation was slightly lower than that of NSAID use as reported in other clinical trials. The authors wrote longer-term trials may yield additional and greater improvements, they second used 6.0 G-day versus placebo for 26 weeks. Subjects were evaluated through the WOMOC questionnaire. SF36 Quality of Life Survey, and Global Assessments for OA Symptoms from Both Patients and Physicians. WOMOC results showed significant improvements in all areas for the MSM group. The MSM group also showed a strong trend towards changes in disease status. Careful lab monitoring of health indicators showed no side effects of MSM supplementation and no adverse events were reported.